Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is about Control R, which stands for Repeat Your Last Movement. I just made a video yesterday about changing these circles that are not 0 .03, 0 .03 by 0 .03, and I made a macro that will change them and actually change the colors to 0 .03, and then when you're done, if you want them black, you just left click. But somebody said control R would be even quicker. So let's do this one 0 0.03 by 0 0.03. And then go to your next object in control R. And it's going to do it. As you can see, it's going to 0 0.03. He said it's faster. Sure, you don't have to write a macro, but it's kind of a macro for kind of learning experiences. But and if this is also a two-stroke two movement. And so if you wanted to get rid of one of those strokes and just make it a one-key uh, stroke, go to Customization, go to Commands. Repeat is under Edit, so we're going to go to Edit. It's a lot easier to find it this way. And then go right here to Repeat. Click on that. Go to shortcut keys, and you can see it's Control R. I've already made one for zero. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to assign a new one, just the letter zero, or O, not zero, O, and then say OK. Now we're going to make this one 0 .03 by 0 .03. And then when you go to the next one, just hit the letter O, and it does it. So the, and I thank the gentleman for suggesting this. If people might have trouble writing macros, the only thing I don't like about it when you move to the next uh, block, it doesn't work anymore. Or if you do something else, let's say you grab the text tool and or the shape tool and draw a rectangle, and then your problem is your next step is. Um, going to delete it because you know, your last step was delete that rectangle where my V in my macro will always be there. I don't, I can do anything. I can grab a rectangle, but I can still change this one to my macro. And it doesn't matter what I've done. But I do think that's a, a viewer for the suggest, just suggestion. It would help a lot more in some cases. In writing a macro, uh, I just like like writing macros. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.